my friend, here's Baiano with Baiano Reno. In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace uh, and reuse some old hardwood from really stuff. Good, so they are hard to find because they're old. And I'm just gonna try to use them, refinish them, and they would look like new on the end. Yes, is this a recording? Yeah, on the previous video we show you how to remove the the flow without the magnet, the hardwood flow without the magnet. And uh, in this one we're just gonna show you how to reuse them and install them. First thing is you see the old one they have a lot of nails. In this video I'm gonna be using this plier. I find it to be a little bit better than uh, the regular day day by day plier. That would be something like this one in here. This plier yes, has a little bit magnet on it, I can show you. And it's a little bit hard to remove, see? Once you remove the nails, it can be done too, but it's just... This one I find to be, this one here I find to be a little bit better because I just put it there, it grabbed really good. And then remove it. But uh, don't bang it back. We just pull it all the way through. The, the, the head of the finished nails is very small. It go through and don't leave uh, much damage on the other, on the good side. I will show you, let me get a hammer and I will show We use the plier that way we don't damage the finished side. But now I show you, this is just a, a piece that I'm probably not gonna be using it. Now I'm gonna show you how, how if we bang this uh, nail back, what happened on the other side of the board. you guys can see in there one thing see split the wood in there make a big hole another thing is if you're gonna use you're gonna have to use the hammer or something else to on the wood side of the wood that would damage even more so would leave mark Okay. Even if you use the plier, I'm gonna show you, see. You guys can see the difference. You see the holes, and this is, you can see like the, just pull on this side. Very much you not even see the hole. A lot of nails on this board. You can see the flow, so many nails we pull out. Like you guys can see the board, there they are, some board. So this one here, yeah, I have some board red in here. This one, I, I removed the nails before. So just to show you guys, they are nice. Just gonna cut them for, for the size and there you go. I have moved the nails from the board. No, I just have to cut them on the right sides. I am working this, uh, finish this area in here. So here I not even need a tape to go too crazy about it. In this case, I don't need even a tape to, to measure the board because I just gonna leave a little bit gap in each side. So I just gonna go with the pencil, mark one board. This one, the, the end here is a little bit cracked. So. I would mark both sides to cut. And then I just keep uh, marking them. That way when I go to the saw to cut, it's just one trip. This one is a bit damaged too. I just gonna Mark, mark it here, you can see the 
how the nail in there, so I'm just gonna mat just after it. That way it's just less visible, the damage. Oh, this one is the lock one. I read on the size. What I'm gonna do here, before I cut this board since I'm here, I'm just gonna, gonna punch in some nails that I have here on the floor. This is why I have the light on my head, that way I can see. I have the vacuum here, I'm just gonna make sure I vacuum all the wood dust from there. That way once you do it's nice and clean. Okay, I'm gonna cut the board, I have the mark and, uh, and then I'm just gonna put them on. I'm gonna cut the board here and let's see what happens. Like you guys can see here, I'm trying to save some time. I'm gonna cut uh, two boards at the same time. That way is uh, one cut in one, two cuts in one. Yeah, this is a, uh, I'm just use a Ryobi compound meter so it's not, uh, they are not very expensive for, for the job. Now once I have them all cut to save me some time, I'm just gonna send them. You guys can see when we pull the nails little bit bump so I'm just gonna clean that up that way I have a flat floor because it is important otherwise it'd be a lot of sanding so I just get up get up my knife like this and clean as much as I can okay now I have that part I just have some sandpaper Yeah, this is the finished side. This is not the finished side, so I'm just doing three sides. Because sometimes from the old floor, you still have some stuff stuck in there, so this is a... Uh... Yeah, right now I'm just uh, try them on to see if they're gonna work good. At the same time, I still have a few little nails that I'm missing here. This one is very crooked. Let's leave it for the last. No, no, we have in there. I just use this gun, a Dewalt Nella, old timer, been with me for a long time, still working good. This one I'm using an inch and a quarter nails. Okay, so I just put the board tight. First, I do the corners, the other corner. First I put the nails 
couple of nails on the corners, two nails, one, two, one, two. And then I go to the set, I keep them about uh, six inches apart. Two and two, one, two nails, one, two, one, two. And uh, how you do it? We have a little gap down the corner, but this is gonna be covered with the baseboard. And uh, yes, we have uh, a little gap on the corner, on the edge, right? You can see little space in there. This is in case they would contract the next pond. We have a space to move and the floor doesn't pop up. But this one, I believe would be okay because it's very old wood, but just in case. Hello guys, okay, so we're done in here. This is, uh, like you guys can see, relatively flat. You need uh, like minimal sanding. Yes, this is uh, like, uh, like you guys can see. We did the scrape on the bottom, the sand, so this is uh, relatively flat. You're gonna need a uh, minimal sanding. And this is good because time is money, money is time, so. <laughs> yeah, for me, this, uh, in my opinion, this is great looking good and uh, for the point of view and for what we need this is working good next we can show you a few other areas that we did here on the house like uh, this I don't know probably you remember from the previous video was nothing in there then we finish it with the wood and uh, Else this area here was uh, some damage. We can play this area. How we done that was by I'll show you guys. Because here on, uh, on this area gonna have a different finish for the bathroom. So we have moved the board. We have moved the board from this area and uh, saved them to, to do the repairs. So we didn't buy any board, it was all here. Yeah, we did the repair on uh, one, two, three, four areas. We can show you the other one was the closet on the entrance. Yes, this is uh, the last part, patch. It is a uh, part of the Hano project. We will link the videos from this project. We load all the, the update videos from this project. That way you can see it and uh, we will show you how to do the finish on this floor in the next video. Thank you very much and see you guys soon. I love you guys. You have a, your head is blinking. <laughs>